<laughs> well, I, I mean, I just, I, um, let's see, how has it helped higher education? Life? I'd say, I'd say all of what you just listed is, yeah. is really where they get value. Um, and, and, you know, if you think about the question, uh, it's not just for corporates. So education is a big part of sort of the rest of the world, too. But there's a whole lot of other kinds of organizations that get value out of the idea of a data warehouse or a data warehouse business intelligence system. Uh, anyone, any organization that has to figure out how to allocate the resources, uh, how to uh, attract good customers uh, or, or participants or um, you know, how to define their products, if you will. And, you know, a, a, a not-for-profit or non-governmental organization who's trying to solve uh, some kind of social problem or some kind of, uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, issue in the world, you know, starvation or, or uh, malaria or, you know, whatever the problem is, they have to figure out how to allocate their resources in a way that's going to be as effective as possible. And this is, you know, what we're talking about are, are sort of fundamental tools to allow people do that. It's, it's a universal problem. It's not just a, a profit-driven issue. Yeah, I'd say that that's um, a, a big shift we're seeing lately, that it's, you know, long ago it was all about um, revenue and profit and selling more widgets, and now it's much more um, quality and outcomes and, mm -hmm. you know, effective allocation, as Warren said, which is, it, you know, they're all data-driven decisions, but there, it's just a shift in terms of the performance metrics that people are most keenly interested in. Not to say that there aren't plenty of data warehouses out there that are still very focused on the revenue and the profit numbers, but. Yeah. 